Hello, hi, and welcome. Go again. <clears throat> Hello! Right, the siren, should we go again? Yeah. Hello! Well, no, the siren, let's still get. So I wait for them to. Wait, right. Hello! My name's Albert Lyons. Oh! Hello! Hi! I'm Albert Lyons, and today I'm going to be showing you how to cook an egg using science. First of all, we need to be sure that we're being safe. Firstly, you will need an apron. Safety goggles. Special science gloves. A balloon. Matches. Ma a frying pan. An empty glass bottle. Special tin foil. Drain on blocker. Last but not least, an egg. Here's one they make. An egg! And you know all the things you need. Here's what you need to do. First you'll need the tin foil. Tear off a small square and place it into the bottle. A little bit more perhaps. Then things will really get fiery. Next, you're going to need the drain on blocker and your balloon. Now, the idea is that the lime in the drain unblocker reacts with the aluminium in the foil to cause a chemical reaction. Hey, you've got to be quick for this next bit. Pour the lime into the, the drain unblocker into, and then place the balloon over the bottle. The lye in the, in the drain unblocker and the aluminium should have a chemical should have a chemical effect which inflates the balloon. John, it's not. It's, wow! It's not working, is it? It's not working, John. Is this, is this got aluminium in it? Are you sure it's got aluminium in it? And this has got lye in it? Aluminium in this. Uh, yeah. Once you place the balloon around the rim of the bottle, stand back. Things are about to get pretty wild. Wow! Check it out, guys! The chemical reaction between the lye and the aluminium has caused the balloon to expand. Inflate. Inflate! Phase two. Can't remember off the top of my head what the gas inside the balloon would be called. But just, just make it up. All right, well, that's really scientific, isn't it, John? That's absolutely. The chemical inside the balloon is called dragon learn. Too mythical. The chemical inside the balloon is called polyanoxine fluoride. Sounds like a toothpaste. The chemical inside the balloon is called onyanoxine macorlum. Sounds Irish. Sorry, yeah. Sorry. The gas inside the balloon is now called monohydroxide phosphate. Yeah, that was it, John. That was it. That's a take. Okay, science fans, now put the balloon full of money and fluoride fate underneath the frying pan. Next, take your egg and frying pan. Now, it's important to remember three key things. What are those again? Three. Does this look natural? It's just for framing, just for the purposes of framing. Just for the purposes of framing. Yeah. And always remember Albert Lyme's three important One, safety. Always be safe when working in the lab. Two, caution. Always be cautious. Number three, responsibility. Always be responsible. You've got lives to look after in that lab. Don't jeopardize them by not being responsible. So now you're Okay, so now you're ready for the best bit of the experiment. The explosion. Are you sure this is gonna, you're sure this is gonna look okay? Take a match. And light them against the safety strip on the side of the box. Now stand, now light, now light the balloon and watch the chemicals react. And that's it, you're gonna, you're gonna put that in. Wow, and through the magic of science, the egg has been cooked. 